Hey fellow gamers, it's Jay with GXP. Today we are talking about gear. I am trying to get gold gear. So let's jump right into that. One of the most important buildings when you start out is getting your blacksmith up to level 10. Um, when you get your blacksmith up to level 10, you have the ability to have all, all your slots for materials open, and you have the ability to open up producing material, three types of troops, plus your scavengers, which are for gathering. The thing that's important to understand when you're looking at these material crafting section is that the fourth item here is the rare item. And what I mean by rare is it does not come along very often. You have three different commons. These three different commons are pretty easy to get between tasks, chests, and destroyers. But getting rare, the items that are hard to get. There are a couple ways that we can get them, and I'll show you where, but they don't come very easy. You can speed up your materials, and the more you upgrade your blacksmith, the faster you produce materials. Next is your Dragonite workshops. These Dragonite workshops are what produce Dragonite, and Dragonite is essential for making gear, okay? So when you start out your level one Dragonite workshop, it takes 90,000 in gold to produce 90 units of Dragonite, all right? It's not very efficient, all right? So as you upgrade your Dragonite facilities, it gets more efficient. Level 10 is where I would try and get it's 10% more efficient, not as great as if you can get it to level 20. And at level 20, you're producing 940 units in Dragonite, and it's only costing you 564,000 in gold. Still takes a ton of gold to produce Dragonite. Each one of these gear pieces requires Dragonite. Now, it also requires materials, and in these first two right here, they don't require the rare materials. So when you open it up and you click on a color, you have to have four of the same color to be able to craft with 100% certainty that color of gear. I have all of them required, but I don't have the Dragonite because it requires 24,000 in Dragonite for me to produce that. Now I can override that. I can just straight up not use my Dragonite and use my diamonds, but it's 122,000 diamonds to produce that one piece of gear. It would only cost me 192 units to craft that blue. First starting out in this game, getting to a blue set where all pieces are blue is easier. Now also inside of your depot where your equipment lie, you also have materials. Materials are what you're making. You're, you're getting them in chest, you're getting them in all the different places, but you're trying to combine them up into the materials you use for making that gear. As you can see, you need a ton of materials to even reach a gold material. It's about 1,024 white materials to make one gold material. I'll show you why disassembling is important towards the end of this when we gamble a little bit to make some more rare materials. Okay, now in addition to this section here where you see your materials, there's a material shop. Inside the material shop, you can use Dragonite fragments. Those Dragonite fragments are what your explorers go get and you get them through different tasks and different tasks, uh, chests and you can also get them from the destroyer. I think you get fragments from the destroyer. But the thing about Using the material shop is you have two types of available purchases. I can get a quality dreadnought chest or I can get a advanced dreadnought chest. What you need to understand is the quality is going to give me white or green. Most likely I will get a green rare faster than by doing the advanced dreadnought chest because it's going to be a little bit tighter on giving me a blue rare. We get 21 green materials. So I bought it with frag fragments. And now, as you can see, I have nine ebony ores. I have eight green stone, grindstones. I have three iron sands and I have one secret order scroll. Okay. Not a great success on getting secret order scrolls because those are rare, but I got one. 
and I got common materials and it was off Dragonite Fragments. Inside of this depot, now that I have all of these commons, okay, I am trying to get as many of these gold secret order scrolls as I can possibly get. This is where gambling comes in. And I can either gamble with what I have here, or I can go and get a little bit more common material by going into the gym store, going into the others. So I have this quality dreadnought chest versus the epic. Obtain one to three dreadnought materials per chest. And it's going to give me. Let's go see. In the backpack, one chest, and let's see what it gives me. So it gave me one purple grindstone, a hundred chests. And we're going to see what we can do with the hundred chests. See what it gives me. So it gave me eight secret order scrolls. It gave me 30 ebony ores. It gave me 32 iron sands, and it gave me 30 grindstones. I'm going to do a little bit of gambling now. OK, and what the gambling is, is basically I am trying to produce more rare materials. This is where you got to have some diamonds to be able to do this. And you have to have enough common re resources to do this. If I go blue, you see, I don't have that many iron ebony ores. But if I combine these up. So I'm going to combine my greens to there and I have 12. Um, if I'm here and I make all of these scrolls white. It's now cost me 57 units of Dragonite. It's costing me 314 diamonds. If I can get a blue, it will turn all of those white scrolls into blue scrolls. Now, if I do get a green, it's going to take my ebony ore and move it from a blue down to a green. So that's a little bit of a loss. But like I said, it's common. So let's just run this out and see what I get. First one, I got blue. So that that is a massive upgrade. Okay, so now I've gone back and I've made all of those scrolls white again. And I got a green, so it brought that common down a little bit, but it brought all those scrolls up. OK, so one more time. And then I want to get a measurement. All right, so let's see what it's going to give me. Gave me another blue. If I look at my equipment, you see all those items that I've just produced right here. Great. If I look at my materials, I only have one golden secret order scroll. I have six of these. I have five of these. I don't have 1,024 white scrolls to make another gold material. But if I disassemble these, and I now look at my materials, all right, now I have 11 of these, one of these, and one of these. So I'm going to bring them all back down. Disassemble, disassemble, because I'm converting all those. I have 181 that I'm trying to convert up into a better color. Let's go back into blue. And as you can see now, everything is set for me to keep going after blue or green gear. So that gave me a white. That was a big hit on that ebony. But all these blues are really lifting up. So I got four more ebony. Three green and the rest here. Now I could, in essence, um, combine these white helmets. So I'm going to combine them. Boom, boom. All right. I could also combine these four green helmets. And let's go combine those green helmets. So now I have four. All right. I, in essence, can combine these four blue helmets into one purple. 
It does cost me Dragonite, so I'm not going to do that. Not right this moment. I'm going to disassemble all of these helmets. If you increase your research enough in that accessory production, this will give you back Dragonite. Let's disassemble these. All right, so as you can see, just, just that little gambling that I did on the helmets, it basically, in 12 ebony ores, I am almost doubled my white scroll count. That's, that is how I'm going to be able to produce more rare materials faster to try and get to my gold equipment faster. And that's the gambling method. All right, guys, this is Jay. Hopefully you get to go gear soon. I'm out.